All right, boys, we made it to uh, the aquarium shop. If you guys are in the Jupiter, West Palm, Juno-ish area, I would recommend coming and seeing the aquarium shop. That's a nice little sign over there. There's a sign over on the fence over there too, but can't really see that from here. But a uh, huge shout out to Andy. He's, he's always the man. He's got really high quality fish, always hooks it up for us. So shout out to Andy. If you guys are in the area, please come by and see him. This is the start of this video, I guess. I just jumped right into it. We are gonna get fish for, well, I wanna get a couple bit of coral for the big reef tank, uh, maybe one fish for the reef tank. And then really the goal of this is to get fish for the little nano tank because, well, or beach tank, whichever you guys wanna call it. All because uh, Augie, they all died. Well, the yeah. shrimp stole it. Oh, yeah. Coral bandit shrimps. He's chilling. He ate all the dead fish. Yeah. <laughs> he else. ate all the dead bodies. So he really, uh, it, it was a sad day. But all the sergeant majors are dead. Gobies are dead. Just the crabs and the shrimp are the only ones alive. So we got to, I let it sit for a while. It's been a couple weeks since everything's been dead in it. Uh, did a bunch of water changes in between here and there. So we're going to try again, put a couple fish in there. Hopefully they do well. If they don't start looking good, it's the same water as what's in my reef tank. Same exact salt, same everything. So I'll just throw them in there if they start looking bad because I know that tank's established and is good. So we're going to run in here, pick out some fish, and let's go see what they got. Augie likes that puffer fish. I'm afraid that the grouper might mess with them though. There's a bigger one down here. Well, I was thinking that one, not big ones. They don't need any coral. So he's a contender. I'm just afraid the, the grouper might mess with them. I'll, I'll make sure the grouper's really, really fed before, like where he's real yeah. fat and lethargic and doesn't want to move. But a bunch of little, uh, bunch of clownfish. We do that for the do we want a clown, couple clownfish for the little tank, see how they do? Cool. That and maybe a snail or two. And maybe this little pink guy over here. Well, the real question is what kind of clownfish, Augie? So you got like normal ones, ones with no orange, a little bit of orange. These guys got no white on them. These guys are like a blood red and white. Those are kind of cool. Well, no white? I like these. So you like either like the, these are called naked clown, oh, hang on. Those are called naked clownfish. These guys are kind or they of have like the OG clownfish over there. So there's a tank full of them. All right, we'll do two of the naked clownfish because I think they're cool. So we'll get two of them. And then uh, Augie really likes the, the cowfish. Augie really likes that guy. I would like to get one, but uh, apparently they release a toxin into the water if they feel threatened. So they have to be the first fish introduced into the tank. Maybe later down the road when we don't have any aggressive fish, we'll put one in there and he can just chill. But uh, for right now, probably not a good idea. That's a little purple guy. We'll get him too. I don't know what he is, but he'll swim around. I need some of these guys, some snails. They're Mexican turbo snails. Just grab them. Like the movie Turbo. Arriba. Well, they don't go that fast. They fast though, yeah. Well, not all the snails are fast, just he's fast. I like the part where he gets picked up by the bird. I don't remember you that know much part? Movie. No. Oh, dang. I if I got a clip, I'll put it in the whole thing. Very good day or so. Perfect. Holy wow, Andy is unbelievable. So we, we changed up all the fish order, <laughs> completely went ass backwards on you guys. We have a bag full of stuff. I don't even think I filmed half of it. Well, I think I filmed it all like putting it into the bags. We got some snails as well. I'll explain everything when we get home, but Andy's the man, he hooks it up every single time the fish are unbelievably beautiful we just got to hope that the grouper does not mess with two of them but we got some fish for the beach tank and then fish for the big tank so hopefully we can get everything happy healthy and uh the grouper is going to be moving tanks very very soon so i know i keep worrying about the grouper and stuff like that very very soon the fish will be boop plopped in another tank and then uh we have a little surprise coming for that tank as well along with the grouper so hopefully we can get all this figured out soon just waiting on the stand to be built pretty much is all so let's uh let's head home and get these fish going why are you like that she's so weird i just put mine right here all you don't be sucking down my smoothie buddy hey so we're home this is what we got here in this bag get this receipt out of here don't need that so we picked out two of these clownfish right here look at that oh yeah so they're actually this is their legit name right there i don't know how if that's focused or not but they're a ora approved i don't know is it approved or maybe that's just who bred them but they're a naked clownfish is what they're considered they just have a black little line around them so i'm gonna put them back in the bag and then uh we got this guy who's this who am i picking out oh he changed colors but it's a yellow eye coral tang coral tang I think it was coral. I think it's coral tang. I don't know. It's a yellow eye tang either way. 
I don't know if it's coral or coal, we don't know that part, but he's gonna go in here. And then we have this little purple guy who's gonna go in the nano tank that I got. We got the fox face, which the fox face is gonna go in the big reef tank right here. Is it coal? Like C-O-A-L? Oh, K-O-L-E. Yeah, that's weird. Oh, that's weird. So it's a yellow eye coal tank. So that's odd, I've never heard of that. And then we got like five or six Mexican turbos now. So I'm gonna put a couple in here and then a couple in there for the other tank. So, but before, I get crazy with them. We're gonna go ahead and acclimate them. I'm gonna drip acclimate them from this tank and then drip acclimate them from in there as well. And then uh, while they're acclimating, I'm gonna feed these guys a ridiculous amount of food. So hopefully they don't mess with any of the new fish, especially this guy down here, that little monster. He likes to pick on people, but yeah, he doesn't really eat anything that often. So I'm hoping his mouth is uh, too small. We'll find out. I really hope so. I'm gonna be real upset if he eats stuff. I, then I'm gonna eat him. I mean, to be fair, he hasn't eaten the coral beauty. No, he hasn't. Look how small that guy is. He's got bigger. Why are you so big? He got real big. Why is he, why is he got brown? Why are you changing colors on me? You're a chameleon all of a sudden. But if he hasn't eaten the coral beauty, I don't think he'll eat the other two. We'll see how it goes, but I'll show you guys the tank in there in a second. We're gonna bring all the fish, kind of disperse them and get them in their own little bins. I'll start drip acclimating them and then I'll pick up the camera again. All right, so I think I said I was gonna pick up the camera once they're done acclimating, but I wanted to at least explain it what I was doing to you guys. Right now they're just floating around. They've only been in here for like two seconds, but I got this here for them. I'm gonna open the bags up, put them in here. They all came from the same water, all the tanks there, uh, I believe are the same water, if not they're close kind of thing. And then uh, I used a little clip, an algae clip to hold my tube so it doesn't come flying out, you know? So I'll put the snails and the uh, both the fish that are going in this tank in there, start dripping them and yeah. Come on, get on out. So apparently their spine, it's on their dorsal fin, their back, their top fin there. It, uh, apparently it's poisonous, so that's good. So hopefully the grouper won't bother them. If not, it's not gonna taste well for the grouper. It won't kill them. It just makes them spit them back out. Sassy, what's up, brother? Yeah, these are, those are snails. Here, hang on, I'll get you a fish. Give me a second. And he uses some high quality bags. This was, that was tough. Oh, buddy. Oh, you're upside down. There you go. Sassy, what's the deal? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> go on, little buddy. There you go. So now, watch this little, little trick here. You gotta, hey, let go of my hose. Yeah, give it a good suck. <laughs> Did you get some? <laughs> what's it not for? To make it a little slower. I'm trying not to swallow this right now. It tasted good. What is that? You see it? Look, see the fishy? He's like, I don't know what you're talking about, buddy. Oh, you're right up in there. Dang, Sass, don't, don't get that, God, that dog will walk up and just go <laughs> right in your face. I'm like, what? I guess while these guys drip acclimate and get that way, I'll float the clownfish in there. Oh, for temperature. Just the temperature wise, and then we'll get the salinity and all that matched up. When we drink, drip, uh, drip acclimate. <laughs> oh, I got clownfish, dude, sick. And this guy. I don't know what this is. Is it a dart fish? Or, I think it might be a type of wrasse. I don't know what this thing is, but we're gonna put it in anyway. It just was nice and purple. I said, give me that sucker. So this is the tank right now. Uh, you can show it all, you look at that. Doesn't look too good. It looks kind of brown, but it's fine. Uh, I gotta scrape the glass again one more time. The rocks had a bunch of algae on it, did a water change. Now some algae went away. You can see our little shrimp guys in there. I don't know how well you guys can see little buddy right there. The sand's a little brown just cause of algae, but that's typical in a newer tank. So it'll cycle, it'll go and all that stuff. But I'm debating on if I want to keep this sand or not. It's a little fine. I, I don't know if that's good or bad. This tank, the only downside to it, Anytime you need to get in the lid, it's just an take awful experience. Yeah, you have to take this whole thing off. And then, now look, I go to work in here, I can't see because there's no light on it anymore. All right, put them in there. The yeah, I'm kind of scared to put this in there. No, I got it. Oh, sick. Look at all this meat. So we got some shrimp. I took the heads and the tails off of them. And then uh, this is a little greeny or a pilchard or I don't know what kind of small bait it is. There's his head. Cut it all up a little bit. I'm gonna make sure everyone in here is fed pretty good until or before I put the fish in here just because. And uh, look at that. As soon as the dish hits the thing, Mr. Grouper already knows what's up. So look at this. Drop my chunk. Boom, Ooh. gone. So I'm gonna throw the head in there since he leaves them alone. Throw the head to Mr. Triggerfish. Oh. Oh, and the bird nose rass took it, rip. <laughs> I'm sorry, buddy. Let me throw you a piece of big shrimp. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, actually that's better. I'd rather him eat it than the trigger fish right now anyway. Yeah. 
phone. Oh, I don't know if the mic picks that up. I don't know if it picks that up or not. Yeah, see, that's just one reason I don't like giving them shrimp because the shell just falls off. It's just that thing or their skin or I don't know, whatever you call that. Yeah, the trigger fish, their teeth and their beak is so strong. You can hear it like click, 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 like outside the tank. It's ridiculous. I don't know why they can do that. I don't know who gave them the right to do that. Actually, since we're here, let's just throw some snails in here. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take only the big snails out of here. Cause I don't think there's enough uh, algae in the new tank for, excuse me, sir. I'll probably put just these two, let them go. There we go. Okay, just these two are gonna go in there into the other tank, but these four are gonna go in here. That trigger fish is getting it right now. We'll drop them in one at a time. I'm probably gonna have to flip them over. Oh, they all fell on their back, are you serious? And also, the cool thing, most aquarium shops do not do this, but Andy, he makes sure that each snail and each crab is alive. Usually you just think the shell, you're like, ah, he's good, I'll grab him, he's, he's alive, you know? But look at this guy right here. This guy I think is dead. Well, actually, looks like he's got a, a thing in there. Let me see. We'll flip him over. But most aquarium shops don't do that. They're just like, they just write it off as everything in there is alive. We're good. Shout out to them for thinking of that because a lot of stories do not. All right. We're going to grab our snails. We're going to go in here. And we're going to get these other fish put in. So this tank, like I said earlier, the exact same water, same everything. It's just a little cooler. I'm going to throw them in real quick. I can't get to them to flip the one yet. He's just gonna have to lose his mind for a second. Uh, so this guy here, who's this? This is our purple guy. Uh-oh, we don't have a... Uh... I'll be right back. I had to get a net. I trust Andy and his water, but I don't like mixing waters. So what we're gonna do is rip this bag open, if I can. God, why are these bags just so thick? We're just gonna dump it in. There we go, we got him in the net. That was kind of a struggle, but ready? Steady, and... Come on out, bud. Are you lost in the net? There you go. There we go. What's he look like? What's he doing? Kind of dark, kind of hard to see, but he's just chilling. Ah, uh, okay. All right, well, we'll do the clownfish real quick. Oh, no. What happened? I smelt oh, it. No. Oh, no. That water everywhere. Are you kidding me? Oh, no. I'm not going to go get a towel. Not on the carpet, man. Ready? There's one. And there's two. Oh, ho, ho, ho. get out of that net. There we go. Where'd Purple Jim go? Oh, he's over here. He's hiding. Oh, I see. Oh, look at him go. God, these snails are huge for in here. <laughs> oh, the purple guy really pops in here. He does. So it the clownfish are doing good. Oh, yeah, that's so happy. That's so... No, that makes me happy. That's so happy? That's so happy, man. So happy. All right, let's go put the other guys in. All right, moment of truth. I don't want the fox face to accidentally sting him. Should we do it separate? Well, too late now. Jeez. I also added, if you guys see back there, I added a little seaweed in there just in case either one of them wanted to munch on something. I don't know. I know usually if you add fish in there, if they have a disease or something like that, you want them to eat as much as they can to help kind of get over it. All right, let's see what happens. Back out. All right, where'd they go? They're just chilling in the back, it looks like. What? Right back there. Oh, they're all hanging out with the trigger fish. Oh, the fox, wait, look at the fox face. See him back there? Is he already eating? He's already nibbling on the rock. So the trigger fish is gonna check him out for a little bit. The bird wrasse is hiding somewhere. So the grouper is just chilling. I think if I stand here, he feels intimidated because he knows I'm big daddy, you know? Maybe that's the deal. Uh, the trigger fish, I mean, you gotta think, like fish don't have hands, you know? So they can't, uh, oh, he nipped them back. <laughs> He poked at them, so he, he poked them back. That's funny. So they don't have hands, so they can't like shove them out of his way. They can't do nothing like that. So you gotta think of it that way. Like they're not doing it to like hurt each other. They're just doing it because you can't say like, hey man, get away, you know? They're just feeling it out. They can't touch it and stuff like that. Whatever they would want to do, you know? But hopefully these snails clean up any of that little like hair algae you guys see. I'm hoping between them, the actually both these guys, both the Tang, and the fox face both should really, really help with algae. So we shall see. We're gonna go check one last time on the other tank, but this is the one last little once over for this tank here. Look at him, he's already eaten his way. Oh, he popped up his spine. So he's just, he's eating, so that's good. I may throw in some like mice or something just to see how they do real quick. Uh, if they're hungry, they'll eat. If not, it'll get eaten at some point. So not too big of a deal, but everyone seems good. Triggerfish is leaving them alone. Grouper's down there leaving them alone. This guy, I hope, gets some uh, real pretty colors on him and all that, but it's good. Everyone's good. Everyone's happy. 
I think the groupers finally uh, realizing big daddy's in town. Ain't nobody messed with my fish, you know what I'm saying? Even the bird wraps, he doesn't really care about his new friends. He just wants to eat the piece of shrimp that's back there. So that is the one last little once over. Also, I know you guys are probably gonna comment that coral right there. I think it might be dying. I don't know. I haven't changed anything. It just decided to just give up. And then the one next to it there, uh, it just has some algae on it. It's still living, but uh, we'll, we'll see what it ends up doing. There was a lot more algae on it and uh, it just like disappeared overnight. So I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, um, but I re-added a heater back in here because I noticed a bunch of algae kind of just showed up once I took the heater out. So put the heater back and just because we keep the house, we're in Florida, so it stays a little warmer. Uh, it stays like 77 when no one's home during the day and then like 75 at night, 73 at night, somewhere in there. So it's cold and warm enough to keep fishing corals, but not too cold, if that makes sense. So we're gonna try this out, see what it does. Coral growth may change, anything may change on this tank, but if you guys have any tips or any info on corals or anything like that, please comment them below. So we're gonna go in here, we're gonna check out these. Yeah, I don't know what word I'm trying to say, but if you guys know what this purple fish is, if he's a wrass or if he's a, I don't know, if you guys know what it is, please comment that below, just so I know. But everyone seems happy. We got both the clownfish chilling up top, and then the little purple guy's down here. He's gonna try and inspect his new home. But I'm gonna let him chill for, uh, a while, obviously, let them relax and all that. And if worse comes to worse, if I gotta take them out of here, then I will. Uh, I can always put them in the big tank like I was telling you guys earlier, but we'll see. So we shall see. And uh, also I wanna reiterate, uh, I put a join button live on the channel. So it's not an obligation. A lot of people think that it's like a necessary thing to complain about it, which it's not. It is what it is. It's just a simple, like, if you guys want to support me, it has nothing to do with the content you guys will see or anything like that. If you purchase it and choose to use it, then there will be extra things for you guys to enjoy. That is all it is. So if you guys are interested in it, it's down below. And uh, that's really all I got for you. So bye.